Fit like RD, Danny Boy here, and welcome to my first ever tutorial. So, uh, bear with me, it should go hopefully smoothly and flawlessly. Hopefully, may, <laughs> may take some attempts to get this recording down. But, uh, Nimby Rails, so those of you who have been playing Nimby Rails, uh, there are, you may have noticed that there are mods in Steam Workshop. Uh, unfortunately, though, you cannot add mods to a a current save game, unfortunately. Uh, there is a way to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Uh, it's fairly easy. There is a slightly complicated part, but we'll run through that part nice and slow. So if I go to load game, right, UK trains, Perth, right, load this game. Now, if I go to... Uh, options, right, uploader, graphics uploader, the mod uploader cannot be used with a loaded game. So no save game at the moment. Uh, however, right, if we quit the desktop again and go to options, uploader, uh, there's got the mod uploader is a tool for mod developers, playing the game, subscribe, but it's, you need, see here, uh, Steam Workshop, enable them and oh, they can only be used when creating a new game, which is fine. So if we go to a new game, uh, go to mods, we can select basically everything. So like we'll add a few there. So there's the Alstom Class 390 Pendolino, the PR150, and then we go to start game. All right, so when we go into trains, there's the Pendolino, there's the 150, the 142 Pacer, the 153, the 153-1, 153 the 156, and some other liveries and the standard stuff. However, if we load game, right, so if I go to my Transperth load game, I have the Pendolino and 150 installed. Now, I'll go through how to do that now, uh, so that you can add mods to uh, current save games. So this is the first two I've done. Uh, we'll come out here, right? So quit to desktop. Right, now your first step is gonna be to open to uh, File, Explo uh, File Explorer Windows. Now, in the first one, you want to go where your Steam uh, section is and find Steam app. So mine's actually saved in here. In a, a normal, uh, it will be saved under Steam, or I think it's user data, or profiles. Well, go to where your Steam is anyway. So mine's a Steam library, and then go into Steam apps. Now, we are looking for a workshop, and then content, and then here is the number for, the asset number for NIMBY Rails, it's 11347. One zero, so open up that. Now you've got all these. Each one of these represents a train. So if you click on it, there's the BR class one fifty. Each one comes with a file and a mod text. Now I've also done the Pendolino as well, but for now, for this one, we shall add the class one nine six. So we'll leave this on here. Uh, I'm going to copy this folder. And then I'm going to go onto the other page that I've opened, go back in, right, we'll go back into Steam, Steam Apps again, and this time we're going to click on Common. And then we're going to find NIMBY Rails. All right, so you've got the NIMBY Rails stuff here. You want to click on Resources and head down to Trains. Now here's the ones I've added, the 390 Pendolino. I've got the numbers in here, but this is... This one here is the Pendolino. This one here is the, <coughs> excuse me, the class 150. Now you don't have to have this in here, but I'll show you in just a second. I like to have it in here just in case. So we are gonna go to paste and there it is. There's our new train. So we are gonna click on it and we're gonna get the class 196. We are gonna copy it. We're going to go back and we are going to paste it into here. So it should be there, the class 
196. Now, in each of these files, there's the mod text, and there is the standard game mod text. Now, what we're going to do is copy some data from the mod text and the mod and add it to the standard game one. Now, before you do this, I suggest that you copy this, the standard file, right, and then place it somewhere. Like, I've got this. This one here is the completely vanilla uh, mod text for NIMBY Rails. Now, I've kept it there just now just to show you guys. This is what it looks like. So, you've got the train units, and then you head down, and then there should be train multiple units. You can also see in here what the developer is sort of used. So one of the trains is a TGV duplex. Uh, the other one is an Alstom Citadas. Uh, and then the Siemens Valor. And you can see what sort of trains they've used. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to leave that standard one, right? Because when you add the stuff from the mod text into here, that will then mean that your modded train becomes a vanilla train. And every time you start a new game, that train will be there because it's classed as a vanilla train. Now, in case the mod, for some reason, uh, gets removed from Workshop or doesn't work anymore, keep this standard mod text as a backup. Or if you're lucky enough to know exactly what mod it is, you can then go in after the fact and remove the train unit and multiple unit data uh, from it. So we've got train multiple unit here and then we've got the base train unit. So always keep the standard one, keep it in a safe place. If something goes wrong, you can always reload it and start from scratch. So that's not a tip, that is a, a must do. Always keep a spare copy of the mod text for standard NIMBY Rails. Now go back into here. Right, so the mod text, right? This is my standard one for the moment as you can see the oh no i did not want to do that yeah, yeah, yeah you just uh move over here right so we have uh the mod meta train train unit and this is the 390 driving car the 390 coach and if we head down there's the class 150 and then as we head down further we have our vanilla trains, the Renfe 121, uh, the NYR 160, etc, etc. So we are going to go into the the class 196 mod text, right? Keep that open in a separate window. Now, train unit, so you need to copy the train unit, both train units, and or all the train units, and then the train multiple units so we'll do this to start with so first of all we're going to take the first one right we are going to copy that now i i like to start from the top so after mod meta enter enter and then place the first one in here keep it at the top and then we're going to do enter enter again and we are going to do the second train unit. All right. Copy that. And we're going to go here. We're going to paste it. And there is the second train unit for the 196 spacer. So that's the spacer. That's the head. And then there will be a third one, which should be the car. Yep. So train unit. So like this. Go down. Copy that. Right, so add this, add the third one, paste, All right, that one is in. But we also need to do the train multiple units. So copy the first train multiple unit section, copy that, and then we need to head down to where actual train multiple units is. So this is the way I've done it and I know that it works. So. There we go, there is train, last train unit and first train multiple unit. So, because I want to leave it at the top, because my class 196 stuff is at the top, we'll, uh, we'll paste that here. Uh, hello? Yeah. Go there, and paste. There we go, train multiple unit one is in. 
Now there is a second one for this model, so we shall copy that one as well. And then we'll go back to the bottom of here, hit enter, and paste it. Right, so that is now being transferred over to the the standard in-game uh, text. We can now close this one because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to go to file and then we're going to save and then we're going to close this one. As you can see, it's not, we've still got our standard one that has been that's been untouched. So always remember and keep that. So we can now close this and if we go into NIMBY Rails, our class 196 should now be available. Load game. Right? Go to trains, buy trains. Uh, there we go. The class 196, two cars and four cars. So there it is. That is how you do it. You basically do that for all the more uh, all the mods that you want to put on your save game that you've downloaded from Steam Workshop. It's a kind of tedious task. If you take it low and slow, it should be pretty good. Uh, just remember to keep that uh, save file, and it should be good. I mean, we'll actually buy we'll buy a Pendolino, right? There, are, there's Eurostar mods and stuff I need to add, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, this is six cars standard, but you can increase it. There we go. It does have their maintenance costs, their top speeds, etc., etc. So that's uh, it's pretty cool, like the BR150. So here's the standard. Uh, oh, that just comes in. Some of them just come in standard. So instead of adding cars, you get this. But then you get ones that have two cars and then ones that have four cars. Instead of changing the amount of cars that are on here. Now you can change up their color as well. Uh, a lot of the modded trains you can't pick a decal for, which is unfortunate. But hey ho. And you can also go into the mod text file and see what these trains actually are. Like one of these is one of these is an Alstrom. So basically that I think is this. Yeah. I think that is basically the same as that, the Alstom. So you can sort of mess around with it. Uh, but yeah, we'll buy we'll buy a Pendolino, right? So keep it as its colour. I don't know if you'd even want to change the color. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch that. Leave it as is. All right. We shall go down here, and then we'll stick it on our TGV line because I know where that actually is. Slow it down. Uh, find it. Actually, it's easier to do this. Uh, I've noticed that some of them don't pop up in the little arrows straight away. But if you do that, then you'll be able to see it, right? So there we go. The train has appeared into existence. Now, this is a, a very nice model. There's our Pendolino, and it should be on its way. Whoa. <laughs> Slow down there, buddy. Uh, give me you. Yeah. So there it is. So there's how you add mods to a save game. Just remember, take it slow, especially when copying uh, the mod mod text into the vanilla in, in game one. Get a system, do what I sort of start from the start, so I add the train units to the start, uh, right at the top, in order of what they are in the mod text file, and then I go down to the multiple units and start from the start of the multiple units, and then uh, fire them into there, and it seems to work just great. Always remember, keep a saved copy of that standard in-game mod text just in case you can always revert back to the vanilla game. Especially if something like uh, adding modded vehicles to saved games becomes an option later on. But the only reason I went through this and did this is because I have invested now quite a lot of time into uh, this map this took ages that down here took ages these ones not so long the dundee to glasgow one won't take too long but i didn't want to restart whole brand new map and then rebuild this 
and then realised that when new trains came onto the workshop that I wanted to use later, I wouldn't be able to add them to the save game. I'd have to start all over again. This combats this by making the modded trains vanilla trains. Just be weary, always keep that standard uh, mod text saved for a rainy day, just in case something bad happens. But if you do it like this, it should work fine. Uh, there are quite a few trains on the workshop now. There's lots of Shinkansen, uh, French high speed stuff, uh, lots of British stuff. There's some American stuff out there. Uh, and we've also got things like class, like. 37s and stuff that have like consists behind them so you can have an actual single diesel or electric unit train and have coaches behind it which is pretty cool so we will leave it there i uh, hope this helped you if you do get stuck or have any queries leave me a comment i will uh, get back to you as soon as possible there is also a link that i'm going to leave in the description for a site that I use. It's basically a guide for Numbi Rails how to add mod trains to an existing save. Although some of the bits are a bit vague in that post and hopefully I've elaborated more on them in this. So that's how it's done. Uh, just keep doing that for all your mods and you should be good. But that's going to be it for me. Hope this helped. I've been Danny Boy. This has been a Numbi Rails tutorial and I will catch you later.